Good morning, K-Staters. Welcome back to Manhattan, Kansas, to the site of the West Stadium Center. Tremendous progress has been made here since our last video tour. I myself have not been in the building for 10 days. Today is the 10th of July. We're not that far away from kickoff. We will be ready uh, for kickoff. But today we're joined by a special guest, K-Stater. There's the snap to Freeman, who is under center. Now he's going to throw far side. Jordy's got it against Kalea at 40. 35-30. Jordy to the 20. 10-5. Wildcat touchdown. He beat the all-American, the team to lead. Jordy, how are you doing this morning? Doing great. Looking forward to the tour. All right, this is Jordy's first time going through the building, and uh, Jordy is working out, getting ready for the NFL season. Uh, Jordy, how does a typical NFL player like you get ready for an NFL season right now? What are you doing to keep in shape? Well, I'm not the typical NFL player, so um, I just work out at the high school at Riley County, um, do some farm work in the afternoon, so I my workout's probably about from 6 in the morning to about 8 at night, so it's a long workout. So how many bales of hay did you throw yesterday? We threw about 200 of them out there with my brother square bailing the old school way. All right, NFL linebackers, look out. He's ready for you. <laughs> now we're at the main entrance, and you can see they've got the glass in the main arch there, which I think is really the first time I've seen it, which I think looks pretty awesome. And then our tailgate terrace, which will provide great pregame space. We're standing on the main concourse level now, and you can see a ton of progress since we last visited. The seating out here um, is our handicapped seating. For the first time on the west side, our handicapped and disabled patrons will be able to have seating that's covered under the elements and has a better sight line uh, to the stadium. And then when we talk about 200% more restrooms and concession stands, it's all back here along. So you can make it from your seat to the concession stand and still be connected to the game. We've got a really cool announcement coming up soon about the Cat's Closet and our partnership with GTM and Dave Dryling that we're very excited about. There'll also be an outside entrance to the store for people to be able to access it during the work week. I want to give some credit to Laird Veach because I really thought this training table should be on the back side of the building so the building was all symmetrical on the, uh, on the field side. But Laird said that we needed to put the training table overlooking the field. He was absolutely right and um, we're going to have as nice a training table as anybody does in the country, I believe. So we're on the north end of the building and, and right behind us is the loading dock and this door right here is the door from which our student athletes can go straight from the veneer complex through this door and right up to our training table, which is right above. So, Jordy, talk about the impact of the convenience of having the training table right where you're practicing and studying during the week. Well, the convenience is a huge factor. Like you said, you can go straight from practice to eat and then right back down the same way back to uh, the ALC. Um, instead of driving, wasting that time driving back and forth to the dorm, you maximize your time, which will then allow you to get home earlier and get to bed. All right, we've got some uh, purple seats here with a little embossed power cat deal. We like the way that looks. This whole section is actually angled towards the middle of the field. Jordy is standing at the point where this West Stadium Center angles uh, towards the field. So you got a little angle. So the view when you're sitting here is really pretty incredible. Manco is our glass supplier for this project. Manco is one of the largest glass suppliers in the country. They're based right here in Manhattan, Kansas. One of the great growing companies in Manhattan. All right, we're now on the camera deck of the West Stadium Center where we have this tremendous view. As we look across at the east side of the stadium, you'll see our new light towers have been erected down in the south end between the south end zone stands and the basketball training facility. You can see we've really cleaned up the area. We've removed the border fence from the back, so it's gonna be a lot easier for people to traffic from the east side to the west side inside the stadium. We're gonna really study how that new traffic pattern works because we have the potential, if we would like, uh, to add restrooms in the south end zone in those lower windows below the video board. So K-State fans, that's gonna do it for us today. We've got 50 days or so until August 30th as we kick off K-State's football season and open the brand new West Stadium Center. I wanna thank Jordy for joining us. What do you think, man? Uh, it looks great. Obviously, the improvements are incredible. I think it's something that will really help the uh, football program and all the sports and all the student athletes in K-State. All right, so are you going to come back for the first game? I'm going to do my best. We're playing Kansas City that Thursday, I believe, so I'll see if I can skip a couple days. All right, well, good luck this season, Jordy. Thanks a lot, everybody. Enjoy the summer, and go Cats.